fall as well. This may be a reading that possibly might resonate with you if you happen to have in your moon rising Venus, your sun sign dominant in your chart, or if you happen to be cross watching for a Piscean. <laughs> I had to pause for a second. I swear I heard Gemini. I wanted to say Gemini so badly. Maybe you are dealing with a Gemini. You have this in your chart. I also see an earth sign. All right, quick disclaimer. Let me give you a trigger warning. There will be sensitive subject matter discussed in this reading. And if this is something that you feel like you're not in the headspace to deal with, hearing about sensitive subjects, then you know here's your opportunity to click off the video. Those of you who are ready to roll with me, let's dive right into this. I swear I want to say Gemini, and as soon as I flip over the next card, Gemini, you got to be dealing with a Gemini. I also see Aries. And you got to be dealing with a Scorpio because I gave them a song called Hanging on a String. What is this? Is this is Pisces. Hanging on a String. Okay. And I hear that song playing in my head right now. So I think that that's the song that guides are giving you too, Pisces. <clears throat> that song says, you never told me you were waiting, contemplating. You're dealing with a Scorpio. Because like I said, that song kept coming up for Scorpio. Somebody is keeping you waiting, dangling on a string. Keeping you in a constant loop of uncertainty about where this relationship is going. Yep, you are. You're dangling on a string. Puppet on a string. Okay, puppet, puppet master. Maybe you're dealing with someone who's controlling because no doubt, I want to start off the reading like this, but you know, I'm going to, you if you, you watch me, you know, that I just kind of like dive right in. Um, it looks like you have somebody, Pisces. Okay, let me start this off by saying, I think that you're a spiritualist. I think you have some type of spiritual gift. Yes. I think that you have a sixth sense. I think you have a spiritual gift, no doubt. And strange enough, I feel like you might be having prophetic dreams. I think you might be a tarot reader. You might be interested in tarot, drawn to it, or maybe this is you uh, maybe watching a lot of it. Maybe there's, there's some type of interest in divination of some type. Because I definitely get a strong connection or a strong indication of that in your cards. Yeah, intuition. Definitely. Some of you, I think that this uncertainty has something to do with your gift. You're unsure of yourself. You may doubt your intuition at times. Pisces, you do have somebody who's a green man. I think you have somebody that's green with envy, and I definitely see a connection here with spell work being done here. Especially with the way that these cards are falling with this devil card here. You got somebody manipulating you, manipulating the situation by means of magic. For some of you Pisceans, it feels like somebody does not want you and this person together. Yeah? All right, I think this is why your guides are saying protection. I think your guides are encouraging you to protect your energy because it really does feel like you have some type of an enemy. Some of you more than one enemy lurking around. That could be something that you're uncertain of. Maybe you're not sure who these people are. But I mean with you being a spiritualist, with you having a sixth sense, I think that you have a very strong indication about who these people are, what their motives are, what they're looking for. It's like somebody's trying to create some type of fear tactics. Somebody could be disturbing your sleep. Um, that's what I feel. For some of you, I think that this uncertainty having to do with your thoughts has a lot to do with what you're thinking about. Because it looks like you're having a very difficult time silencing your mind. 
you're constantly in thought your thoughts are constantly rotating maybe that's why i'm getting gemini for you so heavily and that just seems like a very air sign thing maybe you have air in your chart aquarius libra or gemini yeah i definitely feel like you have psychic dreams i think that you have some dreams that could help people maybe avoid maybe some bad choices or some tragedies i don't know i just feel like you have a very strong connection with your dreams i, I definitely feel like you're able to connect with outer realms okay and i think that there might be people that you know maybe don't approve of what you do maybe i think that there are people that watch you i think you might be doing something on social media you're an influencer of some type and I definitely feel like there's a lot of pressure on you. Yeah, this feels like you're in the spotlight. You're in the limelight. You're a public figure or you're dealing with a public figure. Um, it looks like you got some obstacles that you're dealing with. And we're going to see what this is about. I think these are mental obstacles. I think that you have a lot of pressure on you. Oh, well, let me make it very clear. We talked about... This person doing spell work on you. Your guides are saying that this is some um, binding spells. Your guides are saying that this, especially with the strings and knots being tied, somebody's trying to stop you. Just put their plans won't be successful. Whatever they're trying to stop you from doing, whoever this is with animosity. It looks like this person or these people are going to reap what they've sown. Do you see what I mean? Work your magic. Fall on the floor. Fertility. Okay, there might be a baby on the way. Somebody around you might be expecting a baby. That's what are you doing. We might try to say tarot, divination on you. Somebody's doing readings on you, Pisces. Or like I said, you might be a tarot reader. You do some type of divination. Maybe this is you. The reading can always be reversed. Uh, maybe you're working your magic in some type of way. It doesn't have to be something terrible or, or crazy. It doesn't have to be that. Maybe there is something that you're trying to bring into your energy, into your life. Something that you're trying to manifest. You have some type of a goal here. But I promise you, you have somebody trying to stop you. You have a backstabber. This is somebody creating obstacles for you. Some of you, you're getting a divorce. Divorce settlement, I'm hearing. Okay, somebody trying to get you to lose your place. Gosh, Pisces. And, you know, it seems like that I did say air sign. Maybe you're on the Aquarius cusp. Because I do see air here and I see injustice, which will be Libra, it's two of swords. You got to be dealing with an air sign. I think that you're cutting somebody off, separating from a lover. And I think that you're worried about a place to live. Maybe you are departing from, like, departing. Somebody may pa have passed away. Maybe you caught somebody cheating. Okay, it's kind of like what this looks like. Somebody's thinking that they're getting away with something, and they're not. The truth is going to be seen about something, okay? Somebody might be pointing something out. It's like somebody doesn't want someone to see the truth. Regardless, the truth is going to be seen about something. About somebody's shady character, about the fact that somebody is stealing from someone, for some of you, this has something to do with a love relationship because it looks like there's a separation. You're in separation from someone because you feel like they're disloyal. And this could be somebody with an alcohol issue. And somebody that blames you for a lot of their issues. Somebody drinks a lot. They always, you, you have dinner, they always order a drink. I don't know. And, but at the same time, it feels like there's an overconsumption of something here. Um, I almost wanted to say Aries. Pisces. 
something here is like affecting your health we're gonna get back to that it could be what you're drinking you're drinking a lot of sugar a lot of coffee tea it's like something's not balanced are you drinking too much milk dairy because it feels like you're having some type of digestive issues i don't know are you lactose intolerant possibly random side note anyway you got a leo that pops up in your reading um, I definitely feel like there's an issue with your living situation. There's a lot of uncertainty. Things might be up in the air about your living situation because it looks like maybe you're, you are you feel like, I don't know, are you trying to move someplace, Hilly? Um, random side note, because I definitely see that ups and downs here, peaks and valleys. This feels like this has something to do with manic, manic depression, bipolar. Polar. I think somebody might have an issue with mental health. I also see a situation where your fluids in your car, Pisces might need to be changed. This could be definitely like an oil change. Antifreeze. It feels like there's something here, something minor that might need to be changed with your car, your fluids. Somebody is a loose cannon. Somebody has a really bad temper. Okay, I think you might be going on an outing because it looks like there, either there is a need to get outdoors and maybe you wanna get outdoors more, but it feels like you're really dedicated to your work or your work is eating up a lot of your time and there's this fear of financial loss that kind of keeps you in this money trap maybe you have uncertainty about your work that's what i mean binding spells do you see this i'm trying to get to the main part of the story yet they keep showing me this whole situation see how these strings are here and there's strings here and that was the the song um, of your reading, Hanging on a String. And you got a knot here, like somebody is tying you in knots. I think your stomach could be in knots. I think you have a lot of anxiety. And I think you're worried about a lot of stuff. And I think that maybe this anxiety has something to do with somebody around you that you feel is mean. They have their guard up. Or somebody could feel this way about you, Pisces. You might have animosity towards someone because the reading could be reversed. And somebody is being mean and pushing somebody away because this is their way of protecting themselves. And ex uh, protecting themselves from any type of aggression or any type of spite. This could be you putting a protective bubble around yourself. Maybe, you know, Pisces, it's very difficult for you to let people in. Um... So maybe right now you're kind of shutting people out because you're having issues with trusting people. Right? Uncertainty about people's motives. That might be something that's just really on your mind. It's something you're lost in thought about. I want to see what else is on your mind because I do see like you're worried about negative comments. That's what I mean. You must be in the limelight or you do something online. Or, and it doesn't even have to be that. This could be anywhere in your life. or Because it does feel like you feel mistreated. Maybe you feel a bit naive. It just definitely feels like you feel the need to protect your heart. Anyway, it feels like your guides are trying to get you to liberate yourself from whatever is mentally enslaving you. And we're going to touch on that in a minute because I, I don't quite know what it is besides money, besides trust issues. And maybe, honestly, that might be all that it is. Maybe you need somebody to listen. Or this could be your kids. Maybe this is you. You're under a lot of pressure. You got a lot of rage. You got a lot of anger. And maybe your kids just want you to listen or spend time with them. If this is not you with a spiritual gift, Pisces, this is a child, for sure. Yep. Somebody feels emotionally incomplete, and this is why they self-medicate. 
So in other words, Pisces, I think that you might be dealing with somebody who is addicted. And there might be a drug relapse because of some things that are going on here. Some obstacles that somebody is facing. I think that maybe your energy levels are low. Maybe you're, you have some foggy thinking. Maybe you're feeling a bit dizzy. Okay, because they're holding their head in both of these cards. Dizziness, foggy thinking. You're not able to think clearly. And it could be that you have a vitamin deficiency. Vitamin D especially, it doesn't feel like you get out enough. So your guides are kind of inviting you outdoors a bit to get some sunlight. There might be an outing that maybe you, you have planned. Maybe you might want to spend more time in nature because it feels like that, I mean, that might be something that's needed. I think you're very nocturnal or you're surrounded by people that are just very nocturnal. Um, maybe you have a Pisces moon. Maybe your moon sign is Pisces. Speaking of traveling, being in nature, I think you might be traveling for a professional commitment. Um, there might be something coming up that might cause you to have to travel someplace. Um, but the crazy thing is somebody around you is expecting a baby. Maybe you're going to see a child. Maybe you're going to see a baby be born. Um, I think you might be having a meltdown though, Pisces. You or someone around you. Because I do see family quarrels, like there's some type of family disagreements. Maybe you're distant from a family member because of some type of mistreatment. You're cutting people off. And I think that this is why you have this protective bubble around yourself. You feel mistreated. You may have gone through some losses, some financial losses, maybe dealing with people. People's disloyalty. Yes, you're separating yourself from people. Because you face some type of disappointment. Some of you are facing disappointment having to do with a lover. Somebody that maybe you thought had your back. But they turned out to be disloyal in some type of way. This could be a friend. That's what I mean. Your kids, your ch child, children might need your attention. Or this is definitely your inner child. Is definitely crying out to you, especially this week, Pisces Nation. I think you're worried about getting evicted or, like I said, your living situation. It looks like the money is on your mind. You might feel like you don't have enough. This is why your guards are up. Maybe you're having a difficult time staying on target because it looks like you have a lot of different responsibilities, a lot of different things on your plate. So I think that your attention is kind of fragmented. So maybe something, a simple task might take you more time and energy than usual because it looks like you're really trying to multitask or do a lot of different things at the same time. Somebody that you're dealing with, I think, has the fear of missing out. And this is kind of like why somebody is, yeah, wandering around. Somebody's a wanderer. I think somebody might have a wandering eye or somebody has an issue staying put in a relationship. And this is interfering with feelings of security in this relationship. I don't know. Somebody just doesn't stay put. So maybe if things get kind of difficult between the two of you, this person is out. I think that you in your mind okay because you're having a very difficult time silencing your thoughts maybe you're picking up some type of distraction or there is just something kind of distracting you Yeah, I think you might be unsure about what to make a priority because you have so many things on your plate. And I think that there is something that's distracting you. So this week, I think you might be figuring out a way to reduce distractions. Because it looks like you have a lot of commitments on your plate. You, you got 
maybe a relationship, a lover, a child, professional commitments, and you're being pulled in so many different directions and you have a lot of stress on you. That could be what's creating a meltdown for you. So honestly, that's what this rest card is about, I think. I think that your guides are really encouraging you to rest, recharge, relax your body. This might be, because it looks like you're losing sleep over something. Yeah, that's what this rest card is about. They want you to get proper rest. It looks like you're losing sleep over your thoughts. Constantly second guessing your thoughts. Your guides are saying you need to relax. Slow your breathing, slow your pace a bit. So it looks like your muscles might be a bit tense. Yeah, I think that this is your guides helping you to find a way to self-soothe, okay? Because it looks like, I don't know, you're expecting a baby or there's a new baby in the house. There's a lot of stress surrounding you. You're clenching, you're holding on. It's like you're worried that maybe you don't have enough money. Maybe this is you with this security card. That's what I mean. It's like you're holding on to a job, Pisces, because of a money trap, fear of financial loss. I think some of you are in a job that you don't like you no longer enjoy this job, but you feel like you kind of have to keep up with this job because you have a lot of stuff. Maybe this is material things, but maybe it feels as though there's something about your job or about the circumstances that you would like to change. For some of you, it's, a jo it's your job, period. Maybe you do want to make a change in that area because maybe it's your job that's stressing you out, maybe affecting your health. I don't know. So maybe this is what this is about going outdoors. Maybe this is your way of recharging. Thank you and welcome. I definitely feel like you're moving. This feels like this is a welcome mat. So I think you might be getting a message about a home. If this is you, maybe going from place to place. It looks like you're wandering around. Like you might feel like you don't have a permanent place to live or where you are, you don't wanna live permanently. I think you might be getting the news that you got the house cause it does look like you're receiving some type of package, letter, good news. This feels like this is coming in after a period of frustration. Thank you, spirit guides. Yeah, after a period of frustration, it feels like there's a message that comes in for you. This is some positive news. This might even be something that you're worried about. Because it looks like you have some plans that you made. Could be some financial plans or whatever. Maybe you're worried that they're not going to be successful. And it really does feel like they are. It looks like there's something, maybe Pisces Nation, that you're trying to avoid or that somebody is trying to avoid with you. Sometimes, though, avoiding something might take more time and energy than facing it. I think that's with your job. I think that you'd rather be doing something else. I think you'd rather be spending time doing something else. Maybe that's what this outdoors connection is. Or you'd rather be someone somewhere, someone else. Maybe there's issues here with identity. Maybe so. Because it, it looks like there's something that's holding you back that your guys are trying to get you to free yourself from. Yeah, I definitely feel like you are a spiritualist, possibly or you feel drawn to spirituality. In the love department of your life, that's what we talked about. It feels like you're breaking up from somebody, from a lover, from a relationship. Maybe you have been broken up from someone for a minute and maybe, you know, somebody might be Pisces wanting to come back to ask for clarity. This could possibly be somebody that you have children with. 
I think some of you are single parents and maybe you're having to manage work and school or work and home life. I think you might also have a pet. You gotta have a deceased loved one because I keep seeing butterflies all over your reading and that is definitely an indication for somebody that passed on. For me, that's like my symbol for somebody that passed on. So it feels like Pisces Nation that there's somebody that's really trying to get in contact with you, really trying to get your attention. This person could be, I was talking to you about prophetic dreams. Are you worried that maybe somebody's gonna pass away? Because I keep seeing references here to caskets and definitely references here to snakes. There's definitely some greed around you. There's no doubt a snake. And even though I'm well aware that a snake has a positive connotation as well in this reading, it is not. Somebody is, they're trying to cause you calamity. They're trying to cause you issues out of jealousy. Like somebody is attacking you. There's some type of spiritual attack here. So yeah, all right. In the love department, it feels like maybe you broke up from someone they disappointed you in some way. You faced some type of disappointment with a love situation. You got the two of cups. So for some of you, it does have something to do with that. Others of you, this could be with a family member. Okay. There's been some type of disappointment. You cut someone off. There's no clarity. You feel like they were greedy or, you know, superficial, focused on things that don't really matter. And maybe they said some things that were really foul to you. Maybe you have moved out from this person, you blocked them, or they feel blocked off from you. Somebody feels like you're still angry with them, and this could be somebody that might be traveling to come and see you. Because it feels like somebody might be coming out from hiding, you haven't seen them in a minute, somebody might be coming to your door. Or if this is a partner, there's been some disloyalty, right? There's been a separation, right, between the two of you. There could have been some blame that have been that um, has taken place here. And it feels like somebody's coming back. I don't know, this might be why you're maybe watching tarot a lot. Maybe you have some type of indication or you had a dream that maybe this person was coming back. And maybe you're wanting to know, you know, how this might possibly play out. You're looking for the best course of action because it feels honestly like Pisces, you don't really trust yourself fully. Maybe you feel like you made some bad judgment calls in the past. Somebody wandered off into another relationship. They left you for someone else and now they come back to return. I think that there is somebody that you want to take accountability. Yep, five pentacles. It feels like you see you just got tears here. I think this is somebody that you wish would take accountability for your pain. You see she's got tears here. I think this is the meltdown. It could be related to this love situation or it could be completely unrelated but whatever this is i feel like there could be maybe you guys might be talking things out trying to work things out here let's see what's their angle what are they trying to do okay i think somebody is trying to make a decision about whether or not they should come to you this could be an ex of yours returning Okay, because it definitely feels like there's someone returning. And it definitely feels as though this is somebody from your past and right beneath that is reconciliation. So this feels like this is somebody that you know, somebody from your past that could be coming back into the picture. This person could have gotten out of a relationship. Maybe they ended something. Maybe they're going through a divorce. Maybe they, they're going through a separation from someone. They've left you for someone else. That situation may not have worked out. And now they're maybe coming back to work things out with you. Um, mm -hmm. Yep, this is an ex. This is an ex that wants you to give them a chance again. And this is somebody once upon a time that maybe you felt could be the one for you. Except for the fact that they really hurt you, they devastated you. I think you cried a lot of tears over this person in the past. 
this person could be a spiritualist as well, or they could have some type of spiritual connection here. But if this is you going through this currently, it feels like there are some type of accusations that are taking place. And I definitely feel like because you have a sixth sense, you definitely can pick up on the fact that something is not really right here. Or you can definitely pick up on the fact that maybe something's going wrong here. I did say Gemini. Some of you, this involves a Gemini. And yeah, there is an accusation here. I think not only do you see, but other people see what's going on too. And if this is not with a love situation or this is a work situation, other people are picking up on the fact that somebody is lying, stealing in some type of way. This could have something to do. I did say tarot. This might be going on within the tarot community. Hmm. Your gifts are going to the next level, Pisces. Um, are you dealing with a Virgo? This looks like this might have something to do with a birthday. Yeah, see, somebody's doing something really risky with their career. That's what I mean. Like, something is going to be seen here. Somebody's taking too many risks, and the truth is going to be seen. So random. I've got two rainbows here. So I think somebody could be part of the LGBTQ community, possibly. We got a March Pisces, and we got an April Taurus. Aries. Maybe you're Pisces Aries. Maybe you're a March Pisces, and you're on the Aries cusp. Random side note. I don't know. Yeah, see, somebody is maybe cheating on a partner. This is something that they're taking a chance with. This might be something that's going on at work. Somebody could be cheating with a co-worker. And this, this is something that's going to... This is where there's accusations. The truth is going to be seen about something. That's just what I'm seeing. And it might ruin somebody's career. Ruin their credibility. Because it looks like somebody really has something going for them career-wise. But some poor judgment or bad mistakes. Because it does feel like maybe somebody's not thinking clearly. Mm-hmm. And somebody might make a mistake and hurt somebody. And this causes somebody to leave their life. Libra and Scorpio stand out very heavily in your reading. You definitely have some changes that are getting ready to go, that, that are ready to occur in your life. One of these changes we already just talked about. I don't know, like some of you, this uncertainty, I talked about a baby. Some of you are uncertain if you're pregnant. This could be you maybe having a meltdown because you find out that you are pregnant and maybe you feel like your love life is not kind of strong or you feel like you don't have the security that you would like to have, financial security that you would like to have before you bring a child into this world. Some of you, it feels like you've been praying for something. You've been asking your guides for something. And you're probably feeling a bit, this, this uncertainty card might have something to do with the fact that maybe you're not sure if what you've asked for, prayed about, is actually coming to you. And it feels like it is. It's just meaning that it feels like your guides are trying to tell you that there might be some things that needs, need to be put in order first. Like certain things may need to play out first before you see something that you're wanting or asking for come into fruition. It doesn't mean that it's not happening. For some of you, this is a desire for children. Maybe you want a baby. Um, maybe you've had a miscarriage and my heart goes out to you if this is. Something that you're grieving over because I do see you mourning over something you're mourning over the loss of something yeah that's what i'm getting you're mourning over the loss of something 
This could be a relationship. Maybe you're taking a breakup really hard. Or this is your mourning over the loss of somebody that did leave your life. Because I did just get finished saying that. Maybe there's a part of you that wants to take a vacation mentally. Because it feels like somebody could have been in good health. And then all of a sudden, and this feels like somebody passed all of a sudden. Like you didn't expect this to happen. This feels like this is a vehicle. Vehicle. Somebody was traveling. You saw them before they left. And then when they got back, or they, they never came home. It feels like it's that type of thing. You saw them off. And then you didn't see them when they came back. Is what this feels like. Some of you, random side note, since we're talking so much about, there's definitely somebody that's a part of the LGBTQ community. This could be a child, and maybe you have a gut feeling that that's something that's going on. And mm, I don't know. You worried about that? Because it feels like there's there's a concern about that or you're kind of like noticing certain things. I don't know. But that's what I'm seeing. That, and, and I think the answer is yes about that for some of you. It's like somebody doesn't want you to see something. They're, they're covering something up. Maybe you noticed it when they were a child. Oh, I don't think somebody's happy about that. Maybe you noticed it when they were a child, right? Maybe you saw that. You know, you notice certain things about your child, certain things. And now as they've gotten older, you're noticing it even more. Because you got a rainbow here and you got a rainbow here. So that's what I mean. Like, because it looks like somebody is disappointed and angry about something. Or this could definitely be like, somebody has a really bad temper, by the way. Um, or this is something that maybe a child is worried about. They may want to come to you, talk to you, have a conversation with you about something, but they feel like it's just going to go left. And they want to free themselves from the fear that they have about, you know, what you might think or what everybody might say. But it feels like there's a child that's really bottling a lot of their emotions up. And there may be a child that really wants their parent to listen and hear them out and maybe see things from their point of view about whatever. Clear and shield your energy. I think this is why somebody is kind of shielding or hiding behind some type of facade, especially if this is a child, because it's like they don't want you to see or they don't want you to judge them. Yeah, consciousness. You see these daggers in the back? It feels like somebody already feels heavily judged by something. Or this is like somebody's afraid that maybe somebody's going to make fun of them. But this is definitely clear and shield your energy. No doubt. We talked about that. Protect your energy. It's like I did say you have some type of energy vampire that's trying to do something against you. This is somebody that might have a lot of anger towards you, verbally or physically. For some of you, this feels like this is a physical, yeah, type of altercation. This could have something to do with domestic violence. And for some of you, it's like, I do not like talking about this subject, but let's go there because it's coming up. <sighs> Somebody's child's innocence was taken. You have a creep, a pedo, a perv for some of you around your children. And maybe this is something that your guides are trying to get you to see because it looks like they're trying to get you to see something. And then I get comments saying, why don't you go into more detail about it? I don't know what you want me to go in more detail about. I mean... I guess it's just keep an eye out for your children. Because somebody ain't right. Man, that could be a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio that we're talking about.
yeah this might be you you might have a gut feeling about that about who you have your children around because there's a lot of children in this reading it's a slap in the face that's what i mean like is somebody violent or you might feel like something is a slap in the face anyway that's what i mean like somebody's afraid that maybe somebody's gonna go off if they tell the truth about something so just food for thought uh, what else do i see okay um in terms of your career in terms of your money it feels like maybe you're chasing the dollar like i said there's a money trap here you're looking for some type of financial security yet for some of you i don't think that you thoroughly enjoy something that you're doing right now or this could definitely be where this anger and manipulation is coming from having to do with work where you're feeling like you have to like clear your energy shield at work um for some of you this is a hater because it does feel like maybe you are making money or you are making some positive moves yet again you're feeling like you're chasing chasing after something and in this manner, I feel like you could possibly be finding a way to keep motivated and keep moving forward. I do see peer pressure, too, with children. So this is like, I guess, your guides are saying schedule some check-ins with your kids. Take some time off to really focus on what might be going on with your children. Anyway, um, with in, in matters of your career, I don't mean to say anyway as if it's you know insignificant. No, that's very important. With money, with career this week, it feels like there could have been some setbacks. Maybe you have been trying to increase your income and maybe you feel like you've been coming up short. So your guides are kind of forcing you I was about to say Gemini and Capricorn. I'm reading for Pisces. Pisces, I think you guys want you to get more organized when it comes to your finances. Like I said, you're distracted. Some of you, it's what's going on in the background with your love life or with your family situation. All right, Pisces Nation, will this conclude your seven-day forecast with Angelic Ascensions? If you found that it was helpful, Pisces Nation, thumbs up this video sub to my channel if you already haven't if you decide to sub make sure that you hit the post notification bell so that you do not miss an upload um i will see y'all pisces nation in the next one peace out